Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another high competitive game of Warcraft 3 between Soin from Korea which is the orc in the bottom left corner of the Northern Isle map versus the Grinchy Uno uh, who is from Nigeria looks like uh, and he is the night elf in the upper right corner of the map and this is a Stary Sky Cup 15 it's a tournament organized in China in Asia China and those are one of the semi-finals Soin a well-known player uh, still ranked uh, uh, quite high in, in the ELO ranking. He's currently sitting at number 17. I'm not aware, I'll be honest, of the Grinchy Uno or the Grinchy 31 seems to be his old uh, nickname, uh, his old battle net tag. So I don't know a whole much about him. But I do know a hell of a lot about Soin. Soin, I have to say, Soin together with Hitman, they're some of my best players to watch. Um, I feel like every time I watch Soin playing, I have a lot of fun watching him. And same as Hitman. Hit Hitman is my guy. I love Hitman. And Hitman, by the way, is one of them young guns as well. Um, a player's forces are under attack. I feel like he could be potentially. He's got the potential to be the number one in the world one day. Hitman, Kaho, Labyrinth, Fortitude. What are those guys there? They've got bright future in front of their Warcraft careers for sure. Chemico is a young player as well. There, there's more guys out there that, you know. Dice, I can name another one just on the top of my head. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy watching Soin. He's gonna open with a Blade Master and a Grunt. One Barrel into Tier Tech 2 already. He built a Voodoo Lounge as well. The War Mill's gonna come later. Second Barrel now. This means definitely not the Headhunters for Soin in this game. On the other hand, for the elf, we have opener with the keeper and archer. Standard first creeping next to the base with the engine of war. And the keeper is already level 2, no tech tier 2 yet. Hunches of Hall just finished. And the blade master just got level 2 as well. And we got wind walk and critical strike. For the keeper, we have. Experience and entanglement. The Blade Master's gonna start doing some damage here. Oh, that critical damage is so, so nasty. I think those. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I wish I can play with Blade Master, guys. I st I'm still learning with uh, Fars here. Um, it's a bit easier, you know. When you. When you when you are the range hero or range unit, you can kind of control the fight in a way. Um, you know, you can sort of like... I was watching uh, Grubby Guides on YouTube and what he used to show in a video is like... Basically, you do hit and run. Hit and run. Um, but with a Blade Master where he's a melee hero, I can't really afford to do that. I'm always center of attention oh my goodness this is going to be a tp for the keeper unless he wants to die oh oh that was so close that was so close so in so in you crazy crazy guy with his blade master um yeah i'm not sure where the grinchy uno stands on the rankings Um, he's probably a, I'd say, like a top 100 player. If he's not a top 100 player, I'm actually going to be surprised because 
his play is very decent so far i must say he plays very clean so if he's not in the top 100 he actually surprised but in any ways i think like we all know that soin should be the favorite in this matchup and this shouldn't come as a surprise to no one he is taking it up to tier 2 but tier 2 on the orc side is already finished and we're going for another spirit lodge and a bestiary shadow hunter second the grunts are waiting in the base and we're going for brute strength which gives extra hp on the grunts Oh my goodness. And I wonder if he's gonna go for tier 3 next. Another hunter with a serpent, two serpents, and he's gonna take this orange camp. At the left side of the map, or you can say, what is that like? 9 o'clock here. Here is about 9 o'clock on the map. Good. Replenishment potion for the keeper. What is the blade master doing? Okay, he's got a circuit circlet of nobility. Uh lightning shield for creeping. Claws of attack plus five. Not bad, not bad. Sleepers of agility on the blade master. Sleepers of agility. Very, very good on the blade master. Shadow Hunter's level two already. He hasn't picked. Uh, healing yet okay he just picked it up now and we're going into looks like we have a shaman and a wind rider and now we upgrading and snare so we're gonna go into raiders undoubtedly now the war mill is coming as well and the shadow hunter is I'm gonna create the gold mine right next to the main base. Meanwhile, the brewmaster for the green chi uno, and this blade master nearly dies. Oh my goodness! Playing with fire here. In the green chi is trying to find the blade master he was looking for it but unfortunately couldn't find it so the panda gets level two as well he sort of mirrored what uh so did already and he went for the creep for that gold mine next to his base going however healed with the blade master bringing his entire army, Shadow Hunters level 3, Dead Huntress, that's a dead archer. Heal wave, that's gonna be a dead panda as well. There's no moon juice anymore. This panda is so dead. Another dead huntress, and the panda is just. Yeah. I feel like this will be GG, boys. Panda dead. <laughs> Now he's trying to target the keeper as well. That's another dead huntress. Blade master level three. Critical strike second. Oh my goodness. Critical strike level two. The damage will become ridiculous for level three. Targeting this moon well now. Entanglement on the gun. Huntress brave. But it's only one hundreds. What can you do? There's no more. And GG, the green tea call it. So in takes game one in the series is best out of three. Those are the stats here, guys. Overview, overall score, of course, big advantage in favor of so in. That is pretty much everything. Units killed 29 compared to only 16 for the Grinchy. Heroes, obviously, more items obtained, uh, more experience gained. Heroes killed, which they killed that panda. Resources. The uh, so similar. Actually, this is where the Grinchy's got the advantage. But we all know that the resources. 
sometimes they don't matter. Anyway, I love you guys, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one very soon.